Hello, I am Dr. Sham Agarwal, Head of the Department of Medical Oncology at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about breast cancer. In India, in women, breast cancer is number one cancer today. Nearly 2 lakh new cases of breast cancer are diagnosed each year. Unfortunately, because of poor screening facilities like mammography, majority of the cancers come to us in advanced stage. The common symptoms of breast cancer include a painless lump which slowly increases in the breast of a lady. There can be swellings in the armpit or in the axilla. There can be a swelling in the neck. There can be a change in the shape of the breast or there can be a discharge from the nipple which can be a bloody discharge. So if somebody has any of these symptoms, she can go to a local doctor, get herself examined because all lumps are not breast cancer. So if breast cancer is suspected, a mammogram needs to be done and on the mammogram, the radiologist can tell you that this may be cancer. Confirmation of breast cancer can only be done by a needle test which can be an FNAC or a biopsy of the lump which the mammography is showing. So if there is cancer in the breast then we need to perform certain investigations to stage the cancer and to identify the type of cancer. For identifying the type of cancer we do estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor and HER2 new gene testing on the tumor cells. This is very important because this can dictate the treatment. Similarly, to stage the cancer as to whether the cancer has spread in the body of the patient, we need to do x-ray, ultrasound, bone scan or today we are doing PET CT scan to see if the tumor is localized or the cancer is spread to other parts of the body. If it is only localized to the breast and to the axilla or the armpit, then we call it as early breast cancer. If it is spread to the bones, lungs, liver, then we call it as metastatic or advanced breast cancer. In early breast cancer, there has been change in the management as compared to what we were doing say five years ago. If somebody has cancer breast, which is localized to the breast area, people will rush for surgery. Now it has changed, especially in patients where estrogen receptor and progesterone is negative and HER2 new gene is positive. Even if the tumor is 2 cm or a little more than that and it is confined to the breast, people are not operating. Doctors are advising them to undergo chemotherapy in triple negative with immunotherapy or if HER2 new is positive then chemotherapy with HER2 targeted therapy. So this treatment is given to shrink the tumor and to even help breast conserving surgery. And also this is important because it has a bearing on the subsequent therapy which can improve the longevity of women. So surgery has to be done in patients with early breast cancer but it can be done after the chemotherapy has been given. So this is a huge paradigm shift in the management of early breast cancer. Now if the patient has undergone operation, chemotherapy and even radiotherapy, majority of these patients can be cured. 80-90% patients can be cured depending upon the size of the tumor, depending upon the number of lymph nodes involved in the axilla. So patients who are estrogen receptor positive, they have the best outcome, 80-90% can be cured. Patients who are estrogen receptor negative, well then the chances are a little less and if the patient is HER2 new positive, uh, the results are reasonably good. If the tumor is spread to various parts of the body, today we call this as metastatic breast cancer or stage 4 breast cancer and we have a large number of medicines which we can give to these women to keep the disease in control for a long period of time which can span over several years, 10 years, 15 years or even longer. In order for us to decide 
which medicine needs to be given to a patient with stage 4 again estrogen receptor progesterone receptor her2 new receptor information is mandatory because it has a bearing on the treatment for example patients who are estrogen receptor positive then we just give them simple tablets today which are for example estrogen receptor inhibitors combined with a kind of drug called CDK46 inhibitors usually people go on to take these for two three four years and they are absolutely normal there are no side effects like those with chemotherapy with these hormone tablets and after this fails again we have more tablets more medicines including chemotherapy to improve the quality and the longevity of these patients patients whose tumors express her to new gene which is amplified or is abnormal then with chemotherapy we give them her to targeted drugs for example trastuzumab or pertuzumab and again this is very very successful and patients again take it for two three four years a new drug has been launched which is called TDXD which is very very effective in patients with HER2 new positive breast cancer and is successful not only in HER2 3 plus but also HER2 low so that distinction comes from the pathologist uh, whether the patient is suitable for a TDXD therapy or not but it has really changed the thinking and the life of these patients so most of the cancers which women get including breast cancer are acquired in the life of the patient and there are certain predisposing factors for example in women late marriages having uh, you know, children at later date having fewer children like only one child not breastfeeding obesity sedentary lifestyle lack of fruits vegetables in the diet lot of uh, fat in, you know uh, ingestion in the diet lack of exercise so these are some of the factors which have you know uh, have gotten us to a stage that breast cancer has become number one cancer like it is in the western world uh, all over the globe so the remedial measures or the preventive measures are to keep yourself healthy do exercises don't be overweight avoid smoking avoid drinking uh, you know I mean basically take care of your uh, life so that you don't get these diseases thank you very much